Hello Internet, welcome to another tutorial in the series of Network Synthesis and Analysis. In this series we are studying two port networks and we are up to hybrid parameters today. We already have studied Z parameters and Y parameters. Z parameters are uh, the open circuit impedance parameters and Y parameters are short circuit admittance parameters and H parameters are kind of uh, hybrid parameters which are which are a mix of both now first things first uh, these are used uh, to model electric components and circuits especially transistors so if if you have been studying the working of transistors, you'll, you'll know that H parameters uh, play a vital role in modeling them. And the, the, the representation of H parameters as an expression is not derived from Ohm's law, uh, just like in the case of Z parameters or Y parameters. Uh, what we have here is this is going to be the representation of H parameters for a two port network. So this is something that you need to commit to your memory. Uh, unlike the Z parameters which, which had a representation uh, of V and I uh, in the form of an Ohm's law and unlike uh, Y parameters which also had a representation of simple Ohm's law in, in its matrix format the H parameters are represented like this and as the name suggests the H parameters are hybrid parameters so this is going to be a mix of both conditions. One condition would be an open circuit condition and another condition would be a closed circuit condition. So I'll tell you what those conditions are in a moment but for the time being we'll need to open this thing up. When we open uh, this thing we get V1 is equivalent to H11 I1 plus H12 plus V2 is equal and sorry, I2 is equal to H21 I1 plus H22 V2. Now please understand these are the governing equations for H parameters and the two conditions that you need to uh, remember is that the output is short circuited. So V2 needs to be 0 in condition 1 and in the second condition input is open circuited. So when we do that I1 becomes equivalent to 0. So that is what makes it a hybrid thing because it's a mix of both words the output is short circuited the input is in open circuited uh, in Z parameters it was both input and output open circuited in both the cases in Y parameters they were both short circuited in both the cases this is output is short circuited and input is uh, open circuited and you need to remember this very very meticulously because when you study A, B, C, D parameters it is going to be exactly the reverse of this. I'll talk about that in the next video but uh, so you need to remember this because once you remember this you'll be able to find out the values of H parameters. So putting V2 is equal to 0 in these two equations we get H11 to be equal to V1 upon I1 and of course this happens when V2 is 0 and 
H2 1 becomes equivalent to I2 upon I1. This again happens when B2 is 0. And H11 is known as input impedance. This is a very important parameter in transistor study. Input impedance for any two port network. If you find the value of V1 upon I1, this becomes H11. So we know that the ratio of voltage upon current is impedance. So, but what kind of an impedance is this? This is input impedance because port 1 is taken to be in, as an input port. And H21 is forward current gain. Please understand this is the ratio of two currents and if you talk about the current at the output to the current at the input that boils out to be forward current gain. It's a unitless quantity of course and this is expressed in ohms. In a similar way by putting uh, I1 is equivalent to zero we get H12 to be equivalent to V1 upon V2. Of course, we put these conditions in equation 1 and 2. And this happens when I1 is 0. And secondly, we get H22 is equivalent to I2 upon V2. When I1 is 0. Now this quantity over here is the ratio of two voltages. It is the ratio of input voltage to the output voltage. So this, uh, this parameter is known as reverse voltage gain. And if you look at this ratio, this is the ratio of current upon voltage. So this must be an admittance of some kind and what kind of admittance is that it is known as output admittance so now you can see we've got a whole gamut of things here we've got input impedance then we've got forward current gain reverse voltage gain and output admittance so that that's the reason these parameters are known as hybrid parameters all of them have got a, a different set of units so this is going to be unit less again this is going to be more now if we draw the equivalent circuit for this it will be something like this so at the input we have the input impedance calculated so this is going to be H11 impedance this is going to be this and at the output we've got output admittance calculated so this will be H22 expressed in O and this will be input and at port 1 we have a voltage source by the value of H12 into V2. H12 V2 is the control voltage source and this is going to be a current source H21 into I1. And it is the controlled current source. So this is going to be the equivalent circuit for H parameters. So that is how you calculate these the parameters in this matrix known as hybrid.
parameter matrix and to calculate these parameters in this equation we need to put in these two conditions if you remember these two conditions for hybrid parameters you should be able to find them pretty easy uh, well that's about it for today's tutorial I hope you liked it and if you like the contents of the video and other videos in this series consider subscribing to the channel I'll see you around in the next one take care bye